Good morning. So yesterday I did your pretest on logic and story problems. So today in lesson seven we'll be doing a practice set. A practice set on logic and story problems. And then on page twenty-four to twenty-five you'll be doing a pretest on measures. Right? So let's go through the logic and story problems. Right. So here you have the instructions which say, which is it, which is it, circle the correct picture. So you're going to circle the correct book, okay? So it is not a light unit. It is not a light unit. And a light unit is what you call the book you're using for school, okay? Is 301 is a light unit, 302 is a light unit, and so on. Right, so this book is called a light unit. So it is not a light unit. So since it is not a light unit, you don't need this picture. So you can go ahead and cross it off. It is not a Sunday school book. It is not a Sunday school book. So, let's look here. This book says horse stories. This book says trust and obey. I think trust and obey would be a Sunday school book. But the book you need is not a Sunday school book. So, you can go ahead and cross it out. We should read it every day. We should read it every day. So, this is a book about horses and this is the Bible. Which one should we read every day? Right, it's the Bible. So you're going to circle the Bible. And here you have circle the answer. How old was Andrew when he started third grade? How old was Andrew when he started third grade? It is an even number. Do you remember your even and odd number? So even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Alright? Any number that ends in 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Okay? Odd numbers are 1, 3, Five, seven, and nine. So any number that ends in one, three, five, seven, or nine is an odd number. Any number that ends in two, four, six, eight, or zero is an even number. Okay? Please remember that. So how old was Andrew when he started third grade? It is an even number. So let's look and see where we see any odd numbers. Since we're looking for an even numbers, we can get rid of the odd numbers. Is 9 an even? No. 9 is an odd number. Is 10 an even number? Yes, because 10 ends in 0. So we leave that be. Is 8 an even or an odd number? It's an even number, so we leave it. 14 is an even number and 12 is an even number. So it is less than 5 plus 6. It is less than 5 plus 6. What is 5 plus 6? 5 plus 6 is 11. So the number we're looking for is less than 11. So we're going, we can cross out the numbers that are bigger than 11. Okay, 14 is bigger than 11. 12 is bigger than 11. Right? And it has one digit. Just one digit. Right? 10 has two digits. But 8 is one digit. So 8 is the answer. So you're going to write true and false. Many people use milk on their cereal. True or false? Vegetables are better for you than candy. Is that true or false? 
Math is easy for everyone. Everyone likes to read. Obedient children please God. So moving on to story problems. Okay, so before we begin the story problems, let's review the steps in solving story problems. So you're going to decide, number one, decide what you need to do to the numbers. All right. If you need to join, that means adding. Or if you need to separate or subtract. All right. So you need to look at your question. Look at your numbers. And the question will hint to you what you need to do. All right. Then you're going to neatly set up the problem in the box. Then you're going to solve that problem. And then you're going to label the answer. All right. So let's do first question together. The school bus is 49 feet long. How long is the school bus? 45 feet long. So we're going to underline that. Miss Amy's car is 14 feet long. Miss Amy's car is 14 feet long. How long is Miss Amy's car? It's 14 feet long. So how much longer is the school bus than Miss Amy's car? How much longer is the school bus than Miss Amy's car? When you hear this, how much longer? What are you supposed to do? You did this in grade 2. Right? Remember? Try to remember. When you hear how much longer, how much more, how much fewer, you subtract. That's it. You subtract. So what are you subtracting? Remember, you're trying to find out how much longer is a school bus than Miss Amy's car. So the school bus is 45 feet, so you're going to set that down neatly, 45 feet, and then Miss Amy's car is 14 feet long, so 14, right, so now you're going to have 5, take away 4, you put down your answer, and 4, take away 1, put down your answer, and the answer you get, you're going to put it in this blank space and then you're gonna label the answer what are they talking about they're talking about feet all right you're gonna label your answer with feet let's go on to question five how many library books did you read during the summer months asked Sammy. i read nine books but some of them weren't very big said philip I read 14, said Lisa. We were getting ready to move, said Andrew, but I still read five books. How many books did the three children read? Right? How many books did Philip read? Philip read nine. How many books did Lisa re read? 14. And how many books did Andrew read? He read Five books and the question is asking you how many books did the three children read right how many books did all three of them read that means you're gonna find out how much in all and what do you do to find out how much the total the how much in all if you said add that's correct okay so you're gonna add all the books that they read to find out how much they read all together so you're going to put down your sum neatly, 9, 14, and 5. All right, 9 plus 4, the answer, you add it to 5, put down your answer and carry if you need to, add, and you'll get your answer. When you've gotten your answer, you're going to put it in the blank space, and then you're going to label what are they asking for in the question? How many?
books okay so you're gonna read carefully for each of these questions and answer them correctly okay take your time and read read them over look at the key questions look at the questions look at the keywords how many more All right and it says here you have your pretest measures so you're gonna fill in the blanks see how much you remember from grade 2 and then we'll do a revision on measures tomorrow okay so that's the end of your lesson 7